Hello everyone and welcome to my Royal Family Fans channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. In this video, we'll discuss the ongoing feud between Prince William and Prince Harry and how it may affect the upcoming coronation of Prince Charles. With tensions high and emotions running deep, many are wondering if the event will be overshadowed by family drama. Keep watching to find out more. There have been numerous occasions in the last two decades when Prince William has been irritated with Prince Harry Meghan It began with various childhood squabbles in which his younger brother seemed to get away with murder despite the fact that it was the future king who was punished by his parents. Then, there were the drug scandals at school, which harmed the royal family's reputation as Harry's bad behavior escalated not to mention being caught on video calling an army colleague the P-word. Having naked pictures of himself in Las Vegas leaked to the American media and fighting with photographers and his own security team late at night, while drunk following Meghan the Oprah Winfrey interview in which the Sussex is accused an unnamed member of the royal family of racism and claimed Kate made Meghan cry at that infamous bridesmaid fitting as Prince Philip lay dying hate and his outrage in fury, but the catatonic rage that has gripped William in the last month in response to the publication of his twisted autobiography spare an effective character assassination on the heir to the throne is nothing compared to this according to my royal sources the Prince of Wales is still baffled by his brother's book which he believes will be the end of their relationship forever sure time heals all wounds but courtiers believe William is adamant that he will never speak to his sibling again this is the volatile environment in which the new king expects his sons to reconcile in front of billions of people watching him be crowned. I understand that the coronation is Charles' day, but given that he is determined to have the Sussexes in attendance an unwise decision based on emotion over logic that will overshadow the historic event it is now up to the king to protect his eldest son according to the mail on Sunday, the royal family is fully expecting both Harry and Meghan to attend despite their relatives spitting feathers about the publication of Spare and the spiteful media campaign to promote the book which appeared to be designed to harm the British monarchy members of the family have told me that both Harry and Meghan will definitely come a friend told the newspaper they'd fully anticipated and they should be aware that many members of the royal family will only be willing to speak on one subject the weather that might be possible for people like Princess and then Prince Edward, who didn't feel the full force of vengeance and largely avoided personal attacks from Harry's poison pen, but it's a different story. For William Courtyards are concerned about how he will deal with his acute feelings of betrayal anger and sadness at the coronation if Harry is present, but I believe it is Charles' responsibility to find a way to keep William's comfort and dignity despite the fact that he has done nothing wrong and has tried to put duty first in the most trying of family situations William managed to do just that in the days leading up to the late Queen's funeral even offering an olive branch to Harry and Meghan. By suggesting a joint walkabout outside Windsor Castle after learning the Sussexes were planning something on their own seemingly stealing the limelight as usual. But that is in part what William and Kate find most frustrating the entire family worked so hard to include Harry and Meghan during the late Queen's mourning period, but it made no difference to their vile behavior in the months that followed in discussions about how to coax Harry and Meghan to the coronation without any drama, including a wacky scheme to put their woke ally Justin Welby in charge of negotiations William has raised the possibility of the Sussexes hijacking the official festivities with their own publicity stunt. The Prince of Wales is also well aware that Harry has tried to corner him and their father in an apparent act of emotional blackmail. The only reconciliation talks, including Meghan's apology, will begin to appease the Sussexes, but even starting that conversation is difficult given that trust has been shattered following the broadcast of their Netflix reality show and the publication of Spare in which deeply personal conversations were printed verbatim, but out of context in order to further Harry. And Meghan's warped victimhood narrative the recounting of painful and failed peace talks with a grief-stricken Charles 
and his two sons in the hours after Prince Philip's funeral, where he pleaded with William and Harry don't make my final years of misery was particularly heinous to their credit senior members of the family now believe that any communication they have with Harry or Meghan whether electronic or in person could end up in the public domain Charles has less than three months until the most important date of his life. The king wants to thank the best of his youngest son and Meghan with, whom he has always been extremely fond but William and Kate know the truth Harry and Meghan want total destruction, not a compromise. So if Charles continues to believe that including the Sussexes at the coronation will cause no harm, he must ensure that the Prince of Wales is completely shielded from any form of forced reunion or conversation public or private, of course. It's heartbreaking that Harry and Meghan's relationship has deteriorated to this point, but it's entirely their fault. Skip the coronation and celebrate Archie's birthday in California is the most convenient option for everyone involved. But if Charles is dead set on the Sussexes seeing him crowned in person, he must spare no effort to protect the feelings and reputation of helpless William Prince. William was reportedly amazed by Prince Harry's decision to share the story behind the Duke of Sussex's notorious Nazi costume at a fancy dress. Party when he was 20 in his memoir according to Australian royal commentator Danielle Elser one of the reasons why the Prince of Wales was reportedly particularly shocked to see Harry recounting behind the scenes details about the Nazi costume saga heading back to Halloween 2005 in his best. Selling memoir may have something to do with Kate the Princess of Wales while Harry and Meghan have both made the princess out to be a bit of a cold fish who failed to dispense hugs or share lip gloss with appropriate enthusiasm ends Elsa wrote in a comment piece for the NZ Herald her involvement in the Nazi uniform escapade is not just unflattering but actually harmful this reported involvement in Harry's decision to wear an extremely offensive costume is a much more serious charge than all of the bad press and criticism Kate has received over the years the Duke of Sussex claimed in his book Spare that William and Kate played a minor role in his ill-advised decision to wear a Nazi costume to a private gathering the pair howled when he showed them his deeply offensive outfit chosen for a fancy dress party he wrote in his 416 memoir and gave him the final push that convinced him to wear it a photo of Harry taken by another party Gore was later published on the front page of a British newspaper in his memoir the Duke described his feelings of shame and how he educated himself on the Holocaust in the months that followed. In this video, we'll discuss the challenges facing the family as they prepare for the coronation and what steps they can take to ensure that the event goes smoothly. We'll also delve into the ongoing rift between Prince William and Prince Harry and what it could mean for the future of the British monarchy. So, if you're interested in the latest royal gossip and want to stay up to date with all the drama. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. We'll see you in the next one.